What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's video I want to talk about Oryx Challenge Mode, the challenge itself and what the loot could be in my opinion. But let me first off say that 95% of this is speculation on my behalf and has not been confirmed by Bungie. It's just my opinion on what loot will be available and the challenge I think will be in place to get that loot. So let's start with the challenge itself. Now judging by the Warpriest challenge and the Golgoroth challenge, I think we can all agree on one thing. It will have something to do with the Relic Holder slash Runner. I think it's going to be in order to complete the challenge, you'll have to basically have a different Runner every time. Meaning after every round, someone different will have to grab the Relic and run. Basically the same person can't run twice. I actually think the challenge will be as simple as that, I really do. Now there are other things I think they could be, which Bungie could put in place to make it harder. Maybe things like all ogres need to be killed and orbs activated, no deaths, all knights have to be killed. I mean there are many things they could do. But swapping of the relic in my opinion, judging by the previous challenges, makes more sense. I guess we will find out on Tuesday. But if you guys have any kind of idea of what you'd like to see this challenge be, let me know down below in that comment section. Also what you think it may be, if you disagree with me. Now let's talk about the loot obtainable, because obviously this is what it's all about. And it's what's most important to us, it really is. Well it's pretty certain we will be receiving a calcified fragment and an emblem. The emblem I believe can be seen in the emblem vault and it's called Other Light and Hunger, seen on screen now. I'm certain we will also be receiving 3 or 6 depending on the mode you do, legendary marks, in the form of 1 or 2 artifacts. Now if you are like me and you're a collector, the calcified fragment you will receive from Oryx Challenge Mode will be your 50th and final fragment. Now the speculation on what you get for these 50 fragments has been revealed and you do get a shader. The shader can be seen in the vault and it's called the Beltane. Now me personally, I'm hoping it also triggers a new quest for a new weapon. I mean Bungie and many other sources did confirm a weapon is hidden behind the discovery of 50 parts on the Dreadnought. And for those of you thinking of the Touch of Malice, that was only 45. So yeah, after all the collecting, and the wait for these final fragments, I'm hoping we get something better than a little old shader, I really do. Now we all know Oryx has a chance of dropping everything from the raid, from gold shells, heavy secondaries, armors, primaries and the helmet. So it's safe to say we can get basically 320s of everything the raid has to offer. Which is actually exciting and I guarantee it will help a lot of people hit that 320 light score mark. Now there's one other thing I believe will drop and that is the Agonarch Kane ship. Now this ship has been available for us to preview since the Taken King dropped via the ship vault. But exactly how it's obtained we do not know. I believe there will be a chance of it dropping when Oryx is beat on the hard mode version of this challenge. I could be wrong but hey. This thing has to be unlocked some way. Also this is a long shot but with all the new sparrows coming with the Sparrow Racing League and all the new designs, why aren't there a sparrow for the King's Fall raid? You never know, Bungie may have something hidden away. I guess we're just going to have to wait until Tuesday the 15th of December to find out. But guys that's what I believe the challenge mode will be and the loot you will be able to obtain. Let me know your opinion on this down below in that comment section. Hope you enjoyed the video. Do drop a like. I do appreciate the support. Subscribe for Daily Destiny. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out until next time. Peace. We all on YouTube every damn day. Watching these vids of the brand new games. Vid after vid, many are the same. That's why you gotta go and find DPJ. Destiny gameplays, weekly snipes. Heavy uploads gonna have you a hype. Started in the UK, now he's worldwide. DPJ, go and subscribe.